Hello. I also wanted to go over your child's daily schedule, or our daily schedule in my classroom. Uh, the first thing we do is we come in from 7.30 to 7.45, and usually I have something for them to do. Um, if it's a mass day, they have a coloring sheet, and so you'll see those come home. Um, if it is another day, we'll do things like maybe use Play-Doh to make numbers or, um, or shapes, um, things that kind of give um, each child an opportunity to practice some of the concepts or skills that we've learned in the classroom. And then at 7.45 to 8.15, usually we have Community Circle. Community Circle is just uh, my name for it, for uh, we pray. We don't actually get into a circle, but we just stand by our desks and we pray, and then we also do the calendar, and we also do the pledge. Um, 8.15 to 9, usually we do whole group literacy. That means we have sight word activities, these are just a few examples of things that we do in whole group. We do sight word activities, we do letter sound songs, uh, we read books, uh, we talk, we have comprehension questions about those books, we talk about vocabulary word, different vocabulary words that we're studying that week, um, we do various phonemic awareness and phonics activities like syllables and rhyming words, beginning, ending, middle sounds, word families, and again, those are just a few examples of the things that we do in whole group. Um, between 9 and 10.30, we kind of do small group literacy. Um, we do literacy stations, which are things uh, we, we engage in activities at that time um, in small groups where they practice our whole group lessons. So they're practicing the skills that we're learning um, in the whole group. Um, we also do handwriting and writing during this time. Um, between 10.20 and 10.30, um, we have snack. So actually, I put that in there incorrectly. We actually do small group literacy until about 10.20. And then 10.20 to 10.30, we have snack. And then 10.30 to 11, we have recess. Um, at 11 o'clock, from about 11 o'clock to 11.20, um, and <clears throat> we do whole group math. Um, so we learn some of the math concepts. We sing different math songs, like um, writing, uh, we practice writing numbers, recognizing numbers, practice counting things, identifying and defining shapes, and we talk about positional words. Again, these are just examples of things that we'll do. A lot of this stuff is first quarter stuff, but we do other stuff as the year goes on. But we'll still come back and review these things if they need it. Um, from 11.20 to 12, we do small group math, where we practice the concepts and skills that, that, that we're, we've learned. Um, usually we use manipulatives during this time. Manipulatives are just different things that they can use with their hands to count things, make shapes, or do whatever. We use geo boards to make shapes. Um, so a lot of different things that they can use with their hands to practice those skills and concepts that they've learned. <coughs> About 12 o'clock to 12.20, um, we have our social science lessons and activities. Some of the things that we do that we're gonna do this quarter for social sciences are defining and describing communities. We're gonna talk a lot about communities, community helpers, uh, so this is a, a big part of our first quarter. We talk about our five senses, and then later on in the year, we'll talk more about traditions. Um, from 12.20 to 12.50, we have lunch, um, and we eat lunch together in our classroom. If you didn't know, we, we clean off our desk very well, we wash our hands, so uh, we make sure that we're trying to eat and stay healthy at the same time. From 12.50 to 1.20, we have religion. Uh, we read, discuss, and illustrate our Bible stories. So one day we might just read and discuss. The next day we might read, discuss, and illustrate. We also do some crafts involving Bible stories. And sometimes we watch some short videos, five or ten minutes, um, that are on YouTube that kind of um, talk about the, the Bible story for that week. Um, it kind of is like an animated um, uh, video where they can watch the... Uh, the Bible story for that week. Um, from about 120 to 150, we have brain rest, um, and some kids don't don't rest as much as others. Some of them aren't going to sleep, um, and so for me, that's a good opportunity. Not just me, but Mrs. Callisparis and I both. Uh, it's an opportunity to work one on one with some of our kid, some of the kids, or sometimes if they're working in small groups. Now, I will say that at the beginning of the year, it's kind of tough. We I give them usually a month or two to kind of gauge if they're sleepers or not because some kids that start off the year, they might come in and they're just really tired and not used to going to school. 
and they sleep, and then within a month or two, they're not sleeping anymore. Um, and then we have some that start off as that are not sleeping, and then you know once they're you know kind of get used to school um, and the routines that we go through, sometimes they start falling asleep. So I kind of wait and see who kind of my sleepers are and who are, who are not sleepers. Um, I usually kind of gauge that after the first couple months, um, but I still will pull them a couple, you know, every once in a while if there's some things that I can work on them with. So as long as they're not sleeping. Um, then from about 150 to 215, we have related arts, which is either art, music, technology, or PE. And again, we switch off weeks. Last week we had art. This week we have music, and then we'll switch off and do technology um, coming up and PE coming up. Um, and then after related arts, we pack up from 2.15 to 2.30. We pack up and get ready to go because at 2.30, from 2.30 to 2.35, we have dismissal. And as you know, that's when you're going to pick up your child. Um, as far as dismissal goes, I just want to make a quick note. Um, a lot of times it's easier to call the office so that they can get a personal note to me because sometimes just in our busy day, uh, I do not have time to check our emails um, during the day. I usually check it later on, either in the afternoon or in the evening. So by then, some of the dismissal notes that you send, I may not receive. So it's probably best to go through the office so that they can send a, a message to me or get a message to me. If you do send an email, just, just bear with me at dismissal. If I didn't get it correctly, if I didn't see the email, just bear with me. Um, extra things. We go to mass every Tuesday morning, so our schedule changes a little bit on Tuesday because we have mass in the morning. Um, and also we have Spanish every Friday. And some of the things that she covers in Spanish, just simple things that um, you know kindergartners um, are trying to learn where we go over, they go over Spanish numbers and Spanish and uh, numbers in Spanish and colors in Spanish. So those are just a couple of the things that she hits on. She does go in a little bit more into other things, but uh, but these are the main things that she hits in kindergarten. Um, and when I say she, I mean um, uh, Senora Solano. She's our Spanish teacher. And then our technology platforms that we use in the classroom. Most of you know that we use Class Jojo, Class Dojo for behavior and pictures. We take a lot of pictures on there. So if you do have a chance to check them, um, like we took several today of our box um, projects. So check out the pictures frequently because we do, we do those uh, fairly frequently. Freckle is something that we're going to use for some of our, um, for math and some of our um, literacy skills. Um, we're going to use Flipgrid uh, to create videos. Uh, we use Didex virtual manipulatives for math. It, they're just virtual manipulatives. That's really all they are. Um, there's, uh, for instance, there's geo boards and then there's ways to count things. So, um, so we use that. Boom cars we're going to try to use this year. So. That's going to be something new that I think the kids will love. Book widgets is another thing that we're going to try to use because um, we should be getting more iPads for our for our kindergartners. So those are a couple of things that I think we're going to try to use this year. And then last, we use the Prezi. Um, if you've ever used Prezi, it's just a great way to attach links and um, other things that are helpful um, for our curriculum. So these are things that you may not see a lot, that, we, that but I just want to let you know what we're using. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much covers what I wanted to cover. I covered, um, you know, what we do on a daily basis, our routines, um, and then some of the technology platforms that we use in our classroom. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks and have a great day.